Hey guys, what's going on? It's Roger Death here. Uh, this is like literally less than a minute after the last game. Like, I literally hit home, selected to play again, and immediately sends a BAM. Everybody bans my viewer. I love Fiora. She's super strong. She's di somewhat difficult to play, but absurdly strong in, in the hands of somebody that knows what they're doing. Which is something I don't think that many people really quite understand why he gets to be so strong. Blitzcrank is actually... I mean, there's some counters to Blitzcrank. If you go, like, Leona, she gra you gra let him grab you, and then you just it, you just stun-knock him. Or you go Morgana, and then it's just like, um... Yeah, you were supposed to grab me, but, um... I don't want to go with you today. Skarner is a jungler. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, kill top lane, probably. <laughs> Who was it that broke her own oh, recent um, pro game? I can't remember. There was somebody that recently did it, though. Gravy boat wants to AD. What's this other guy want? Not say what he wants to do. He's gonna go jungle. Alright, I'll go top against Kale. Ooh, I don't know this one. That's actually a good question. Or he might go AD. I don't know what he's gonna do. They are privileged to die at my feet. In a while. Yeah. Since uh, we got in Italy, let's go get some physical damage in here. Looking at my bag of goodies over here. Over here, I got it from. Bought a bag of goodies from the store earlier when we went. So then we like to be having the other goodies, so it's have to be refrigerated. Who's not a Kale ADC? Ooh, I don't know. That's, uh, or Kale Pop. That's unfortunate. I was expecting it to be so. That might actually be a problem. Look at, I need to look at Pantheon's matchup since for Scion. I can't see it going poorly, but it's going to be an even match, I think. Right? Science Brantley week against Pantheon again. I don't know why. Is it the mobility? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So Caitlyn's got a really weird power scaling, right? She's super strong in early game. Then when her her um, everybody else's abilities kind of pick up, hers aren't that great. So she drops off in the mid game and then picks back up late game because she's got she can get hit with a headshot. She can just one shot somebody with a full crit build uh, while being a bazillion miles away. And her old gets to be kind of useful late game. I like our team. Our team's pretty good actually. Their damage is a little weird, though. Let's take a look at their damage. This guy's just hard, but they're there. Yep. Oh my god, that was a mess. Enemy stronger in the late game. I'm not sure I agree with that. 
Alright, we have a Pantheon, so I can kind of just deal with everybody at any point. QWE is usually the, um... Is usually the skill order I'll go. Oh god, I'm playing with a... How am I playing with a diamond? That worries me. The diamond is my Caitlyn, who's of course on tilt. Uh, and is actually only in gold 4 right now. Uh, potentially gold 3. Oh, Jesus. Um, gold 5. Uh, this Nidalee right now. Cursor sh kind of showing up, maybe. Morgana is silver 3, and she's silver 1. Oof. Conversely, gold 4, gold 4, gold 5, silver 1, gold 4. I'm not sure that really balances it out. We have a lot of... They, they have more gold than we do. I got a silver 3. Hmm. So here's the thing, right? In a 5v5, they'll do better if we don't do anything to them beforehand. In a 5v5, we can potentially just poke the ever-loving shit out of them between Caitlyn, a Nidalee, or, I mean, we, I'm literally the shortest range poke we have. And it's still a decent, uh, thing. Man, I don't recognize any of these songs from Final Fantasy IX. I like how at the first thing it says is jungle. I want top. Highest win. I do agree with that. QWEQ. Yep. That is the uh, build they order I was going to go with. <sighs> I want to show you how much rearranging our team took. Ready? Bop. 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 <laughs> bop. I mean, it takes forever. Their team's significantly easier, right? Their team's done. Honor compels me. No, this is gonna be a pain. Looks like they're down there. I don't think they'll invade. They might. I, they. I can see them invading down here more. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. So it looks like they're more down at the bottom. And they are up top. Oh, that's cool that it changes based on the skin. Oh, no shit. I mean... Okay. Kind of interesting. Inspired here. I don't really want to... Oh. I say I don't want to waste my... Waste it, but who's their jungler? Skarner? He probably won't gank at level 2. Onward. So I'm not going to be super worried. That should... That lasts a minute. Yeah, that should last long enough. I have to remember that um, I don't have the insta kill basically from Heartseeker. Let us press on. He's probably going for camp. Early on. I don't know why she went for the invade. That was silly. Uh, Skarner's an extremely powerful level 2 jungler. I don't support her in this decision. At all.
immediately. Yeah, he, he got the earlier, he got the camp, so he's got a bit of experience on me. That's okay. Now that I got my Heartseeker, my, uh, my kill range on minions should go up. Uh, assuming I can actually hit them because I'm not being a dumbass. Uh, assuming I can also manage to, you know, last hit them. I always hate that Pantheon's got mana issues early on. I'm taking so much minion damage, I've got to be careful. Especially with the start I went with. I probably would have been better off going the same start he did. Let us press on. This can be behind because she was a dumbass and tried to invade. Onward. There was there's legitimately zero zero reason to be doing that early on. What's the shop say about prioritization? Q E W. Yep. I do agree, you only really need the first level of the W, it's the stun that that's the biggest issue. The stun I don't think scales anymore. The thing to remember is that Pantheon's actually a surprisingly hard person to gank because of the uh, the stun, not the the gank, the tower dive. Let us press on. Oh my God! You are so lucky that. Why didn't the minions pull aggro onto him? That's what I'm curious about. Oh, Italy. Italy and Italy and Italy. I don't entrust you with the jungle and then expect you to fail on me. I want success. That's unfortunate. They were off to 3 0. Nidalee is making really bad plays. Skarner's a very aggressive, powerful jungler early on. Nidalee takes a bit to come online. At least to the point where she's able to do a lot of things. Uh, do enough, I should say. I want to try and save my teleport until there's a time where I legitimately need it. Like if he's uh, pushing to my tower and I'm dead. Right. Yes, for a while, probably. I mean, I'll take free thirty gold, sure. Consider it done. They probably would have been done if I hadn't.
Man, he knows my flash is down. It's the dangerous part. His TP, however, is down. I like to double. I like to ping uh, fairly often. Uh, my lane opponent's missing. Because people oftentimes don't actually pay attention to the first one. It is something I found. I think in this case it might make more sense to go for the cleaver first. Uh, which is kind of bad for me because of uh, my build path already. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. For the record, I've at least I've been pinging him yet, for like ever. Let us press on. Get some damage down to this tower. Especially since Skarner's gonna hang out and, and try and get mid. This gives me, um. That's. Oh, come on, guys. They will not enjoy this. I think this game does take some cooperation from people. It's not like this is a. Let's begin with our champion selection. Pierce through his shield completely, and this is just him being a dick. And Italy's not doing much. I hate having to use that to CS, it's so bad. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Be careful, because I'm pretty sure in a one v one I can't kill him. But one v ones. The jungler doing things on my team. Oh my god! Nidalee, why did you? Why'd you play Nidalee if you are fucking unable to actually... Oh my god. You can't play Nidalee, you idiot. No, Nidalee, um, playing fucking smart is broken in this case. There's no reason for you to play like that. You haven't been playing the greatest all game, actually. I mean, I've died twice, yeah. One of them was to a turret, one of them was to a, uh, a massive gank there. Do not um,
Well, then, that'd be useful if I didn't have to go back because he hurts. Because, you know, he actually gets fucking support. I know my path. Wish I could just ult there already. You know, like I used to be able to. I'm gonna... I'm... <laughs> Can we come back into this game? Yeah, we need a fucking good team, though. And currently, nobody's got a kill. Uh, Vayne's 3-0. Skarner's 2-0-4. I mean, the odds of us having a good team are getting slow. Oh, fuck. <sighs> right. Let's see, I mean... Am I doing the greatest in my lane? No, but I mean, I've also died the least of any lane. Is Enji here right now? That's my wheel breaking on this game. With an ult to do massive AoE damage, and nobody can make it. With people sticking around and just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit, we finally got a kill. Too bad it unfortunately resulted in another death, but you know what? She's got the best KD on the goddamn team now. Oh, no, never mind. Nobody uh, worry about actually killing him. Did it? We might actually have a chance at winning. Yeah, this Caitlyn's bad ADC. If we group up on one person, we can murder them. game it's the exact opposite of the last game oh my god Nidalee then why is well, I've been I've been saying that for most of this fucking game
Where's Kate go? Not the place that somebody's ulting to. Where's everybody else go? Because they have no fucking move speed. Oh my god. Been the only melee person on this team is killing me. Don't worry, you two. Just just hide under the tower. Nobody will come and get you. They're totally not gonna dive you. I mean, they only have a Kale. What's interesting is it appears to have... Okay, there we go. I got wrecked in lane. And Nidalee kept giving kills over. Just unfortunate. Right. Giving up first blood's fucking awful. This Nidalee was terrible. There's no reason to have invaded like that. You know, I died the most because I was the fucking melee of the team. Oh, literally the only one. I was also the literally the only one that had any bit of a tank ability, and, well, that's not even that much, so, you know. Goes to show you how well this game, how people pick this game. You know, tank, tank, pseudo tank, massive fucking damage. These guys didn't even need to do anything besides tank and grab people and everything. These guys got it all. People need to figure out how to build fucking teams and not just be like, I want to play this person. This person sounds good, I'm going to do that. I at least put thought into who I'm playing at the time. Regardless of whether that pans out in game or not, I at least put effort behind my picks even. Whatever.